Okay, in this lesson, we want to begin first example of simulation. When we go into the simulation, this window solid editing first will be open. It means if you create 3D model, you have to make them convert to the solid and then the software simulation engine specify them as a solid and it can uh, create the simulation. For this example, we begin this. I want to create this simulation from the beginning. For uh, see the properties and the simulation, you have to end solid editing creation. As you can see, these pins are joints and links because they link to object to each other. And this is, as you can see, a string link. Uh, we have two tabs here, link and the solid. As you can see, if you go in most over on one of the objects, they will be turned to the red and it means they are specified as a solid and everything is correct. And the solid list here. And the link that uh, include in this uh, uh, simulation scene is created here. As you can see, they can rename it. And if you click on un, uh, uh, any of these links, its properties will be appear here. Or if you click on any <coughs> solid, it, their properties uh, come here. And you cannot change the position, uh, position of the uh, simulation. Okay. Uh, and for simulation you have to go to and we have lots of menu here that I explained them this is a solid editing to edit a solid this is a link that I want to explain them in uh, this lesson from beginning to the end in this lesson I want to explain the joints and here the simulation menu you can separate it and open it here here you can start and pause simulation and the most important thing here, the parameter. The most important, the comments are here. You can start it. As you can see, this is our uh, simulation. For this simulation, I delete in a link, I delete a spring. I delete a spring to uh, rotate it very fast and easy. Okay. This is our simulation. As you can see, uh, this rotor will be uh, rotate. Sorry, I think I have to. And as you can see, this slider will be uh, slide along this rail, this object. So we have one join here, one join here, one join here, and one join here. From We want to create it from scratch. Okay. That's it. For the first, we... Delete the links, delete, delete your keyboard. And as you can see, we have not any joints and delete the solid. I explained them. Just go here, solid editing and select the solid and delete. Select the solid, delete them from the simulation palette. It means you have to identify them as a solid for the first. And if you go into the uh, virtual reality, it means we have created the object, as you can see, we created object and in prepare to uh, simulation from the first. As you can see in the scene manager, we have the object. Please, we can delete them. Please uh, <clears throat> name them correctly and make a folder of them like this. As you can see, this is an a parent folder and geometry in and they are separate as you can see they are completely separate so we model our 3d simulation and ready to simulate and go to the simulation and automatically for the first time the solid editing will be appear you can click auto detected solid it means it automatically uh, define the separated folder and send them to the solid or you can select them single solid as you can see this solid one goes here that you have to rename or you can click by control and monthly and at this time I go to auto detected if we have a lots of uh, model we need to 
uh, auto detected solid. As you can see, all of the solids for geometry gone here and uh, transfer to the this solid and everything is ready and we have to end solid dating i've explained them you it's very easy you can show height from the simulation or you can add visualize the visualize means that's a part uh, connected to the object i'll ex explain that more and but it does not affect in simulation and does not uh, calculate in simulation and solid creation and as you can see our solid will be appear here and if you go most over them it's with correct if you turn red it means it's correct okay we have a solid here we have to rename them you change as you can see if you select it in here it's the properties select it as a for example a slider I uh, this is an rotors correct track and link that's okay and we need to add a link okay if you hit a start at the first everything fall down because of gravity in a simulation menu we have something called parameter if you click the parameter I explain them more in a general we have something here gravity this number negative 9.8 is 8 is in a real world in a negative of z-axis you can change any gravity that you want if you want you can uh, make the gravity zero and sometimes in a simulation we don't need gravity but i prefer uh, everything goes like real world so i want this rail fixed in position when you click it in its properties I explain them more. You can hide it if you want. You can make the collision. I will explain what is collision. But here, and you can connect it to the camera for active viewer. It's not important. Here, what is most important? Make the solid fixed. As you can see, if you make this solid fixed, it does not fall because of the gravity. Okay. <clears throat> and now everything is ready. I want to rotate this rotor around its axis. So. I want to uh, do it. For example, if you forget something and you want to add a solid to the this scene, you have to go this process. Going back to the virtual reality, and this says the simulation has not saved an animation. Do you want to save it? No, because if you simulate or purpose it to convert it to the animation, and you can export it to the, any software that you want. Here you can export it this simulation in this software as animation that can read. In, all of the 3d package other 2d package like cinema 4d maya 2d max or no we don't want to export the simulation at this time i want to add a shaft here for rotating going into the prop uh, object and a cylinder oh it's too big make it smaller okay this is our shaft i want to align it you can go align it rotate it but as I said before, in a previous lesson, we have something called aligned. Okay, I, I explained uh, I explained in the previous lesson. Select this part. I want to um, access of this exactly uh, middle of that. Going to pick a center of the curvature. Exactly this. Go to exactly the center of the, this curvature aligned to that. As you can see, it's completely aligned to the uh, that. And don't forget to it. Okay. And if it is right, oh, sorry, <clears throat> bring it here. And this is our shaft to rotate this rotor around. It's going to back to the simulation. And the first link that, as you can see, as you can see, if you select this rotor, it does not convert to the red, turn to the red. So it means it does not in a simulation. So for making to simulation you have to open the solid editing as you can see in geometry this cylinder will be appear here you can select it and send it as a single to the solid and then end creation and this is our solid you can um, as a shaft that you want and as you can see if you're going most over there it's to turn to red and it means it's ready to simulate and i have to make it fixed 
because it is shaft and I don't want to fall down because of the gravity. Okay. <clears throat> the first joint that I want to explain is a revolute. First, the revolute. Uh, revolute, as I explained it before, is to connect in two objects that can rotate based on their common axis. For example, I want to rot uh, rotate this uh, rotor around this shaft main axis, around the center of this shaft. So, I need a revolute. The most important properties in the revolute in its properties is enable motor. It can rotate the object around the, its axis. As you can see, the software tells you, please select the first solid. In a rotor, in a revolute, if you want to rotate the object, in a solid one as you can see you can change the name here in a solid one the software select the first object select the object that you want to rot rotate the set second object is a base is the base of the object it, this is and as you can see it's, uh, it's just selected everything is and the second uh, selection as you can see it's a con uh, automatically tend to center of the curvature and you have to exactly select the center of this shaft or center of this rotor i selected center of this rotor as a center of the rotation axis and everything is done and if you hit a start as you can see if you select it does not lock because it this rotor connect to the that shaft because of that revolute it does not fall and everything's ready Okay, our first, this is a revolute, it's very easy. And as you can see, e, this uh, joint will be corrected here. I delete it again. I want to explain something earlier. If you click somewhere uh, else, as you can see, if you select it and you miss the selection, you miss the guide of the software. And as you can see, the joint will be turned to red. It means it does not correct. Select it. And here you can select it yourself. Select this selector here as a first object and select this. As you can see, it's placed here. Select this object and select this. And select this as a center. And this is of center of the rotation. And everything is done. Okay. Another, if you, for example, if you, ha if, uh, let's delete it. If you want to, for example, hide it, if you if you don't need to any shaft and you want to rotate object around itself you can do this select revolute select first object for the base object that is a second object you can select here it's a ground and select the ground it's because of that it's and the second is select this uh, edge and select the center of that curvature and everything is ready. It's uh, rotate around the itself, and its base is ground. So this bottom is uh, mean that. <sighs> okay, sorry, I make it again, and go into the solid and uh, uh, show it again. Do that process again. That's very easy, and as you can see, it's very fast. Okay, and I want to enable motor to rotate. It's very simple. Motor control mode. You want to rotate your motor based on a speed, radian to second, or just rotate a specific angle based on radian, or you want to torque it based on the torque. I want to rotate our motor based on the speed. Select this, and another window will be that open. It says you. Okay, you want to rotor, rotate your mo rotor based on which function? You want to constant number of the rotation or you want to mathematical? I will explain that. I want to split my rotor in, this is an, uh, based on the radian, based on second, okay? Eight. And as you can see, if you start, simply rotate your rotor with a, uh, number you can select your join in a motor in here if you want to uh, rotate in another direction you can uh, give a negative number that you want uh, 
And here with click this, you can uh, specify your uh, curve that it needs the constant eight number here. I explained it more. Don't worry, it is okay, and everything is ready. And now I want to connect this to object to this object. To connect in the object, we have to select a revolute. In this part, if you want to select the object, does not concern which object is first. Select, second object, select, and the connection part is very important. The center of the rotation of the this connection is this part. As you can see, this is actually like a pin that object is rotated based on this axis. And if you start, as you can see, it's connected and everything is good. As you can see, this object is rotated around that axis that we connected. This is an revolute. It's the most common joint that we use in simulation. And as you can see, if you want to connect this object to the, this object, we have to use the revolute again. Another revolute, it does not important which object the first, select it, select it. What is the main axis and the common axis of them? Is exactly this center. It's automatically selected for you. And as you can see, they are connected to each other. Okay, we connect three objects. Another joint that I want to explain is prismatic. The prismatic joint is um, the joint that the object can slide along the, another object that called rail. Select the prismatic. Here it's the first solid. The first solid is important. The object that wants to slide. The second object is a rail. You have to select a rail. And the axis of the rail is important. Select the center of the this object. The, a slide along that axis. For selecting that, as I said before, you have to pick edge loop. Select on this edge loop, and I want to center of this green. Select it, and as you can see, the uh, prismatic joint will be created here. And this object is slide exactly along this object. Uh, it is the. It does not uh, important that this object is go to that object. The, the, this simulation does not. Uh, are, uh, it's, it's not in, collision. Is not. It does not important, and just it acts in this direction. And as you can see, our simulation is complete, and this object is actually a slide along this axis. The axis is important. It does not important, for example, this object is collide, this object is in this object, it just select it. If you, if you uh, mm, simulate object as a collision, it's very important. The connection of this object is very important, the simulation are very dense and heavy by collision. But this simulation is based on the axis of the prismatic joint. And this is very nice. Okay, and this is the end. We do the first of the simulation and explain the uh, job. Okay, I want to uh, select the fixed, um, uh, explain the fixed. Uh, as you can see, if you bring back to the uh, virtual reality and change, for example, this, and change the position of this object, goes it to the middle of that. I want to, because this, uh, hit the uh, control Z sorry bring back to the simulation as you can see if you select it it's very bad they are not collide to each other okay I want to uh, send it to the inside going to the virtual reality and to select it and bring it to the inside some inside and uh, another uh, changing that I want I want to uh, bring another cylinder here. For example, this cylinder, um, another cylinder, or another box, that's not important. Another cylinder here. Make it a, a smaller. I want to explain the fixed. You can join any object to the, any object with a fix. It's, it's very simple. 
For example, you want to add an object to this. You can simply align it A, um, for example, center of this object to the uh, center of that edge. As you can see, it's aligned there. And hit OK. And select the default mode. I want to, for example, do this. Align this object to this part. That uh, rotates, that move it uh, together. Okay. We, as you can see, I uh, create two different. Add another new object and ch change the position of that object. If you go back to the simulation and notification will be detected here. It means the transform of the one of the more solid has changed. As you can see, this uh, it says you change the solid. You want to reset to the origin system. It means it's bring to back or you have to redefine. I do redefine that. As you can see, we have two solid here. One solid and one solid. We have to uh, select a revolute joint again. So, I auto detect it, bring two object er again to the solid. And if you end solid editing, as you can see, we missed uh, this revolute joint. We have to make it again. The rotor is the first object, the shaft is the first object, and I think I have to select this shaft as a solid again. And now it's correct. And it's rotating. It's fall down because it has to be fixed. And now it's everything correct. Okay. It has to be fixed because of the shaft. And I want to fix this object to that object. <laughs> okay. We use the fixed object. Select the fixed object. First object. Second object. And the connection point. It does not important. You can connection point any part of the object. Select this. And it jumped inside. Sorry. So, okay, we select the fixed and delete it. Where is our solid? Bring back to virtual reality. No. Where is our solid? Oh, it's connected there. What happened to that? I have to select another part. For example, this part. I select this part again, it's not important. Bring it back to the simulation. Uh, yes, I want to redefine it. <clears throat> this solid as a solid single. Close it. Bring the fix first object to the second object. And I want to select this part. It's not. It isn't. Uh, you have to select a point that they are connected to each other. And I think it's correct. In a fix, the center of the connection is does not important. And as you can see, this object fixed to the that object. With this method, you can fix the object, new object to your simulation. Okay. And goes back to the parameter. We have uh, gravity here. And as you can see, I want to explain that these two uh, sitting here. That's very important. <clears throat> First, if you annoying with, for example, if you uh, start and as you can see, this uh, visual of the this symbol of the joint, uh, you don't want to see them. You can go to the parameter and in the visual hide the helper during the simulation is OK. If you stop and start again, as you can see, when you simulate, those uh, helper will be disappear. And I want in a parameter, in a general, we have another important setting. It's very important. As you can see, if you start, we have a simulation time based in a second here. And I want to mention you. If you simulate in this scene, this simulation and animation is not in a real time. It's very important. 
This simulation speed depends on your PC system uh, or your resource or the, how much this scene is heavy. So this second and this uh, animation does not, it is not in a real time. It's very important. The real time animation is after that you select it to the, uh, export it to the animation. So how you have to export a lot of animation and experiment your speed. Okay. And go to the parameter. Uh, I don't want to uh, confuse you. Just I will tell you something. If you want to change the end time of the uh, simulation, if you want to continue your simulation in 10 seconds, you can uh, add any number here based on a second. But this and this is very important. This isn't time step. I want to tell you something very easy. The a smaller num uh, number here, a smaller number here cause more accurate and the best simulation, but it takes too long and it's very slow. For example, if you make this number smaller, as you can see, we have a, a slower simulation. It does not mean you can control your speed. It's go a smaller. Uh, slower because it's uh, simulate in this second and record one of them it means you have very accurate and nice simulation for complexity but if you make this number bigger and we have fast simulation it does not you, your speed is fast because it's uh, it does not simulate all the seconds okay so you can control your quality of your simulation with this number higher number bad quality smaller number best quality of simulation and as you can see this simulation engine record one of them uh, every one of them with time steps if you select them 10 it's uh, record it's jump 10 of them and then record one it means that as I said, uh, in other words, I tell it that the higher number of this also makes a bad simulation and the one is best. The smaller num number of this part is better quality. So you can experiment them with your scene if you have very complex scene and you don't want, to, you just want to see your simulation, make this number and higher. And after that, if you want to export it, make the number in a smaller number, the default number is good. <clears throat> so the step time and the record simulation result every any number of times in a second, <clears throat> it's very important to your quality. And I explained the solver to the, another example and the advanced. Okay, this is our first simulation with those. And I explained the spherical and cylindrical. Actually, in a cylindrical, don't use it. Use the prismatic instead of the cylindrical. And we explained the spherical. They are not very used often. They are actually useless, I think. Okay, that's it. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.